This is an eternal damage matchup between Team Oxid and Turbo in the lower bracket. And we have Team Oxid with Aquila, Blade, Fireball, Flop, Cresty. And we also had Mental in, in position instead of Stray. And for Turbo, we had a couple of Mercs in the mix, but we had Late, Tur Tony, Olden San, Matthias, Snatics, and H2O. The map choices for this one were Gold Rush and Bremen. Enjoy the game. Mwah, beautiful. Oh, so we are going to kick things off. It's going to be Gold Rush. This is Turbo against Team Oxid. And it's going to be Team Oxid on defense. We have got a semi mix and match teams. We have got one Merc in for Oxid, a couple of Mercs in for Turbots. We'll see what Turbot can do on their first push. As we are going to watch. We are going to watch. Turkey, aka Fireball, pushing towards side behind Flop. Nades rain out. But they have decided to hold off Fireball with the uh, the nades. Isn't going to connect. Nice rifle comes out from Flop, but somehow doesn't pick any, up any frags. But it does look like they're going to go for that big back push. Three players pushing. They know they're going to be getting shot in the back. But they've made it all the way out back. No defense in position. Mental taken by surprise. Aquila with the big double frag. Really nice from Aquila. And he does manage to pick, up, pick it up. I think there was actually a team kill in the mix there. That was nice work. Engineer does get taken down. Aquila was uh, onto that. Cressy's just going to clear up back. Flop first line of defense on this side area. Very aggressive from Flop. We normally see him sit back. And he, yeah, he's going to do that now. And the push coming up back again. Nice rifle does come out from Flop. He picks up two frags. Shot in the back as well from Cressy. I think Cressy must have given the call that they're coming back. I need support. And he's just going to shoot in the back. And that didn't seem to work. Push coming inside. He's going to run into Aquila who's playing this corner position. He is going to be able to pick up one frag. Normally have Blade playing a tree slash main. That's Blade's position. I think he's out. No, he's gone ultra aggressive. Look at this. Let's see what Blade can do. This going to be a bit of a distraction. He's going to get a kill in. No gib, but it's going to be H2O to pick up that frag. And a second. Short spawn for the Axis team. We'll pick up H2O. He's got a couple of players pushing forward. Made towards that main area. Aquila's going to get the shots off from sides. Hishro gets some shots off. He's not managed to connect any just yet. He's got Blade to deal with. And it's going to be Fireball to pick up a double kill on side. Nice revive comes in. I'm going to pick up Late. Who is the engineer? Mental uh, has been caught out a couple of times. Doesn't seem to realise there's some guys at main. Very slow from the allies. I think they just don't want to get full. Nade towards main. Mental, I think, walked on his own mind by accident. And the push is going to come in. He's going to get a bit of charge on the tank. No revive to come in to get that... That guaranteed build. This fanatic's just uh, trying to get some shots off towards the rifle. Flop. Not wasn't going to get instantly baited into doing his shot. A bit slow from the allies now, and as was said in chat already, the first pushes have already gone. So uh, let's have, I have to line up some decent attacks. They have managed to get three kills, and these are on quite short spawns, so the respawns will be coming in. Fireball did get pushed back, took a lot of damage, nice double frag from the tree from Blades. As the other thing, Fireball is basically just baiting for his team. Push coming up back as well. Flop has actually been taken down by a team kill by Mental. And more frags coming in for Blade as he does pick up another double frag. That's four kills on this stage in that spawn. Nice work. Cresty is going to go quite aggressive on the respawn. And he will get that nade off as well. Nice grenade. Doesn't manage to get any kills. Big kill out though coming out from... Team Oxid, and you will see the ally push coming towards main and side. One out for full. Aquila needs to get Gib. Nice grenade towards main from Mental. Bit of grouping. Blade needs to get this reviving. Nice work. Push it coming in from side from late. He needs the medic support. As you are going to see, rifles and nades get spammed around. Mental picks up another double frag. More spam towards this main area, and they are going to be able to clean things up. Nice work from Blade. We saw a kill and a revive in that. And they have got control. Four players. Still a bit of pressure on side. Big kill out comes in. Cresty did get the kill in before killing out. And we're nearly down four minutes already. Time draining off the clock for the Allied team. This isn't good. We'll watch some of the attacking team now. It's actually quite hard to, to watch some of these guys because they don't last very long. Nice rifle from back. Flop's going to get a lot of damage on towards H2O. Has to back off. Cresty pushing in from behind. Does manage to get one frag in but instantly taken down by H2O. Looks like he's going to lead the charge for his team. He's actually going to wait for his engineer. Bit of grouping here. Flop, easy lineup. He's going to get a lot of damage towards Fireball, but he gets ripped to pieces. It does look like they're going to get a little the destruction on the CP. This is just going to stop the, the charge for the Axis. Not much of a big deal. No engineer in position to get the build. But Flop's here. He might just tap that. 
Just nice watch. Just my watch. He is going to He's actually going to build it. Fireball's going to be called into action at main because he has got two players to deal with. He's got four players to deal with. Respawners are going to come in. They have managed to make it in corner. A lot of damage done by Fireball, but he's not going to be able to get any frags. The landmine did a bit of damage on main. Did get a frag as well. Blade pushes into corner. Fireball is going to be able to get that double kill. That was really important. And I think I think Flock just built up the CP. He did indeed. Now Axis got the command post. Spam towards main. Mental's going to push out. Does get nailed. Uh, he is going to get revived. Turbot need to time their pushes a bit better. I, we, we never see a field up on main anymore, seemingly. Oh, the grenade from Cresty. H2O taken out for a spawn. He's going to get shut down. That was a very weakened side push now. Three players here at main. Two seconds for the respawn. They're going to have to risk full. Aggressive play from side as well. Cresty's going to be able to pick up one frag. Drops his weapon. And he's going to get a bit more damage off. Ten second respawn on Cresty. But the rest of his team inside main are going to do the job to just slow them off. Maybe a push coming up back. Nice rifle from flop towards main as well. I think that's it cleaned out. I think that's it nice and clear. Respawn and Axis have come in. Two frags on the respawn though. h and Tony both picking up a frag apiece. Nice from Tony. Picks up that third kill. And this is this is Turbot's chance. They have to take advantage here. Where's where's the pressure? h pushing in towards side. He is going to be able to get one frag. And the build comes on towards the tank. They can't fail this. Oh, h 2 Nearly finds that mine. Does eventually get found. Mental picks up two freebies. They are going to get that, that that tank. It took them six minutes though. That's a very, very long first stage for Team Oxid. They'll be happy with that. That's basically twice the amount of time that they, uh, they'd be happy with pretty much. Three minutes is kind of good. Not, not great, but it's just like, okay, we, we did three minutes. Six minutes. That's a free stage, and if they can set up a stage on this barrier, which they, it looks like they're going to be able to do, they managed to build it up. Tank is still rolling. No damage yet. Someone's on the MG. Need to get that plant down. Full spawns for a couple of players. Mental out for a full spawn. Maybe Cresty as well. No revives towards Mental. He isn't going to tap just yet. Maybe hoping for that medic to just close in. That's another player out for full spawn. It's pretty much going to be down to Aquila all alone with Blade very soon. What Blade can do. He's getting a bit of damage towards H2O. He is going to get dropped. Can't all go down. Nice work from the Ally team. A lot of players around the lighthouse at the moment. And I think they're going to have this well defended. Respawning Axis are going to come in. He's trying to scope out potential Panzer. Panzer is going to come from the bridge, but it missed. I think it hit the stairs. No respawning frags coming in for the Ally team. They are actually going to get, pick up a couple. Nice work from H2O. Does manage to pick up one frag. a lot of damage onto another player and you're going to see the tank roll through no more barrier we will get destroyed the tank we're going to, to build it up tony's in position he's in the uh the balcony engineer is closed in built up that tank allies are in a bit of control here it's taken him about a minute and a half to get this tank rolling it's nearly there nice rifle from flop does manage to take down the engineer on it and takes down another as well double rifle two separate rifles in the kills lots of spam towards the tank really nice play from flop that grenade as well takes down the engineer needs the revive where's the revive matthias isn't going to be able to close in for that revive just yet i think that's actually the engineer late was out for full spawn there strike up towards the tank as we do have a, a kovi pushing towards the cp they're turning their attention towards that cp but they still have two medics on the tank itself so no real support for the uh the main role players oh, so face stabs coming in flops are only going to take like 10 15 damage from that unlucky from fireball oh yeah it does get the two kills in he's going to be out for full spawn build is going to come in on the tank i think they've got two field ups a, a team kill comes in as well they need to be careful here they have taken two out for a long time three four players down for team oxid for about 15 seconds Mental needs to get in the kill on the engineer. He is going to get nailed. Three players pushing this back route. Where's the engineers to build up that tank? There he is. Tony, the strike's going to destroy the tank. Nice work from Tony. He decides to just wait out the, uh, the strike. Insta build comes afterwards. Nice rifle comes up. Spam as well is going to come. It's going to instantly destroy it again. This is really nice work from Team Oxid. Really nice work. They've managed to drain nearly three to four minutes off the tank, uh, off the, just the tank escort stage, which is really impressive. The tank is 
going to get into position. H-Pro is going to get there. Took a while. Oh no, they didn't. They didn't get there in time. And the engineers have been dropped. Revives will come in. And they should get that build in. No, grenades come up though. All the grenades. Double grenade from Flop. But the build does come in in time. Whew. Turbot will be uh, kind of fortunate there. I think they. I don't think they actually got the CP. CP, I think, is still in the German's hands. Look at them. They're st still all over it. Four, five, six Axis players. Very aggressive. Just over five minutes. Oh, they have actually built CP. Plant's gone down. Look at the spawn kills. Double frag on that left-hand side. One from a support fire. The other one from Cresty's MP40. They're going to have to move in for this defuse. It is going to be Tony coming up against Flop. Flop gets the rifle off, but somehow doesn't take down Tony. And Tony will get in that defuse. Extro's going to come up against a couple of players here. Dynamite defuse. defuse does indeed come in. So the forward spawn is still in the hands of the uh, of the allied team. Still not even being able to get off this bridge. Plant goes down that track barrier. And they're moving across the top. Four and a half minutes... Bible in position at the barrels, getting a bit of damage off. Push coming towards that second arch is going to get shut down. And the respawn of Turbot is just about to come in. Pushing first arch. We do have late at barrels as well. The MG on the tank is still up and running. Yeah, I've managed to pick up two frags. I guess towards bank and second, generally all it can really do is bank and second. We'll stick with the... I'll, I'll go with the defense at third on this one. I was with it. Aquila, Cresty. A bit of a push coming this way. Mental is going to pick up a couple of frags. I'm not sure where Mental's playing. He's playing inside the bank. So he was getting shots towards this uh, third area. Just under four minutes remain. And I think this is looking really good for Team Oxid. Obviously, their first stage was so solid. Big push coming across the top. Turbo are going to be able to pick up a, a couple of frags. They are going to put pressure on first as well. Here comes Tony towards third. He has got two players to deal with. Cresty is one of them. He is going to take him down. No gib. He tries to whip out the... Oh, he went for the reload. He whipped out that pistol. He might have got two shots off. Rifle comes out. He is going to be able to take down Cresty again. Cresty's not going to be revived this time. Olden moving in towards third as well. And he has to come up against Aquila. He does manage to take him down. And they should get their hands on the objective here. They've picked up so many kills. One player left in the, in the last room. It is going to be Fireball. He does get dropped. H2O's got the objective in his hand. And he's running across the top. And the respawning axis will meet him. They're going to shoot him in the back trying to run up Arrow Road. Mental is going to move in for the objective, but it does get shut down. Nice work from Snatics. The pass the parcel on the objective is going to come up this, this road. But h 2 is going to get dropped before he can get that revive in. Flop has to move in for this defu uh, defuse, the, the, the reclaim. As you are going to see one or two players push in for that secure. Four players, five players in position for the axis. Look at this grouping. As so a nade goes towards that barrel zero, and you need to be careful. Team kills will happen indeed they did Cresty gets taken down by a teammate big big kill out from team oxids and uh, strike was a bit early strike was a bit early still had quite a bit of spawn protection there that would have been brutal otherwise nice try rifle comes towards second i don't know how fireball survived that i've got no idea objectives in the hands of snatics who is going to be able to make it away he does make pick up that revive as well Nice work from late. Getting a bit of damage off here. Where Snatics? He needs to start moving. Respawn's going to come in. And he needs support from on towards first arch. Nice rifle. Snatics still in position at barrels here. But he is going to get shut down. Nice work from Mental. Picks up the frag and the secure. And I'm almost, almost definite that's going to be a full hold. Although h 2 is going to get a couple of frags and I don't think it's going to be enough. Slow work from Cresty. He's, he heard the footsteps, the objective is going to get picked up. And he's going to pick up the easy kill. Nice work from Cresty. Double frag comes in. Triple frag for Cresty. Made that four or five frags. He picked up two artillery frags as well. Nearly t taken out the entire team. Five man kill from Cresty and the secure. Really nice work from the German. And that is going to secure the first map. Or the first defense, should I say. Which is almost the first map. It's down to Oxid to fail on their own attack. Just a minute remains. They had their moments, Turbot. Once they got going, it looked dangerous. Cresty's going to take a full spawn. <laughs> doesn't erase everything he's just done, but it doesn't look great. He's going to continue getting some artillery support fracks. So we do watch Aquila here at third. So there's going to be a full hold for sure. And a full hold guarantees you, of course, 
map victory or map draw, you cannot lose the map. So they should be, well, they should be fairly happy with that. You don't want to lose uh, your own map choice. You don't particularly want to draw it, if I'm honest, but you don't want to lose it. See what the axes have to show in the last 20 seconds. We have got an AFK. The defense is all but done. Let's see who's got the big frags. Can't really think what I was seeing a lot. Maybe Blade. I think I saw the Blade quite a lot. Fireball as well. Yeah, Blade's up there. It's got to be Blade. Blade 34. Just behind him though. Flop 32 and Fireball 30. 5.1k damage for Blades. Across the other team, we have Matthias with 26 and 4.5k damage. That was pretty good. That first stage, though, I think if that first stage, if, if they would have picked it up a bit quicker, they would have given themselves such a better chance. That tank as well. I don't know how the Germans get, did that. It was like a five, six minute tank hold where they were just destroying the tank. They got the barrier up, of course. That's, that helps. But then destroyed the tank like three or four times. The spam coming up on the bridge was really nice from flop. So that's what they needed. Everything was connecting. It was beautiful. One more player to ready up. That's Olden. Toba have actually looked pretty decent on defences sometimes. Obviously, I do wonder you know, who the influences are there. We are missing Swanidius. But I think the, the Finnish teams are fairly notorious for lack of speaking. So I don't think it's going to be so much about leadership and comms, maybe. So it does look like Oxid are going to be going quite heavy on the back push. They can revert their attention towards sides. Early nades aren't going to connect too much. Very slow start from the allied team. Rifle towards the tree area. Fortunately, late was just a bit away from that. Tabot are going to be able to pick up a couple of the early frags. Aggressive play here. Does look like the attention is going to come from back. Tony's in position. He's going to have two players to deal with. How didn't that rifle connect? I'm not sure how that didn't connect. Two players still pushing from sides. Uh, sorry, from back. As uh, allies are going to get flanked as well. Snatic's coming in from behind. Three, four players still here. I think there's another player somewhere. There is four players. Mine's going to get a bit of damage off. Nice work from Mental to get away from the mine, to get blasted away towards his teammates. Whether he did that on purpose, I'm not sure. Blade pushed in a bit too deep. He is going to get gibbed. And Fireball needs to come in for these revives. They're going to need uh, Flop to come in now. He's going to have a bit of uh, space to get these rifle shots off as well. Going to get a bit of damage. Let's pick up one frag. Bit of damage onto a second player as well. A lot of the turbo players are very, very far back. This artillery could be dangerous though. It will start coming down. A couple of the turbo players did manage to get to the back area and Snatix picks up a big 3k on that back area to clear it out. But the two team kills from the, from the artillery, I'm not sure what happened. But it does look like they're going to be able to get their hands on the tank. Really nice work from Team Oxids. I think that was... Yeah, it wasn't actually an Axis. It was an Axis uh, artillery. They haven't stolen the tank. They haven't stolen it. They need to get moving. Mental's just going to give up his life. And I don't think they got it. I don't think they got it. They didn't. The Axis still have control. They gave it up. They got lucky. They got lucky. Holden is going to get a couple of a couple of frags. Nearly a triple frag on towards this side area. The tank is still in Axis hands. How long it is there is anyone's guess. These are some awful airstrikes and artillery from the Axis. I thought it was an allied artillery that was here before. It was actually an Axis one. A bit of a build's going to come in towards the tank. Hold your horses, Turbo. Calm yourselves down. Two minutes already gone off the clock. You've had a scare. Need to chill. The tank's going to non-stop make noise now. That's going from Cresty. Doesn't catch anyone out. They didn't realise it was here. So he isn't going to get too much damage on towards H2O. He did get the support of Aquila. Nice work here. Snatics picked up a double kill. Big push coming in from back again. Nice gib work from Tony. He is going to be able to pick up that gib. And Fireball's just going to have to back off. He's all by himself. He is going to get railed though. H2O gets that frag in. And he's going to push down back as well. 
no one in his sights just yet. Decides to back off. Two frags for Cresty. Maybe coming towards me. It is indeed towards me. Nice gib from Matthias. Matthias is out for 10 seconds. So is so is Oldenson. Maybe a push coming towards side here. Nice rifle from from Flop, but Tony's going to only have a very, very short spawn. That could have been a lot worse. Nearly takes a second rifle to the face. Manages to dodge that. I think that was more by accident. Nice double rifle from Tony. That one has just been off the cause of a back push. And he's going to get another rifle towards the side. Nice work from Tony. Fresh push and a respawn. Four minutes already gone off the clock, and I'd say, other than the scare, it's looked better for Turbo. It's looked a lot better for Turbo other than that little scare they had. Double frag from Matthias. I think that's towards sight. Maybe turn their attention to back a little bit. Engineer did some pushing by himself and get shut down. h is going to get gibbed out. I'm not sure what the spawn time's like for the Turbo guys. 10 seconds, not too bad. Very strong defense up on this back area. Three players. We have seen this in the past from a race. A race or a team that's utilized the back defense quite heavily. And we have got a couple of players from this team from the race lineup. Snatics, Tony, of course. Lots of damage going towards Tony. Blade getting a couple of pot shots off from main. Nice spam coming in, but Mental's going to start getting that build in towards the tank. And it's a brilliant revive. I think that was from Blade. Really nice work. And it is going to be Mental to pick up the tank, but that's all down to Blade's revive. Putting his life on the line does pick up the engineer. Instantly after getting killed. Really, really nice work. And they get that first stage. Took them five minutes, took them a long time. Not as long as it took Turbo. But Cresty is going to do his best to slow them down. Getting towards this barrier. Are they going to be able to get some uh, charge into this? It does look like they are. Lots of charge coming in. And they're not going to get that barrier built up just yet. I think they've only got one engineer in Tony. And the allies are cloning, closing in. Is Tony going to be able to finish this off? He isn't. Revive will not come in. And the allies are all over it. They've picked up a bunch of frags as well. And they're all on the respawn. Here comes the respawners. They're going to, They're just going to run straight for this, this barrier. They just want to get this barrier built. Give themselves 30 seconds. Nice grenade comes down. Lots of Team Oxid frags come in. And I think it's just Tony all alone does get one grenade up. But he's going to get taken out. And all of the Axis players have been spawn killed. They're all out for 15 seconds. And what's worse is the Allied team are all over their spawn. Look at this. They're all over it. Three, four players at this second arch. Do semi-dodge that rifle from flop. As the tank is going to slowly move into position. No big respawn frag this time round. Get a couple of frags in. That would be 40 frags. They survived quite a bit longer. I think the respawn will be coming in very soon. But as you can see, Oxid are already around the back of bank. So they're going to have this, uh, this area under control. As H2O is here. Backs off. And that's going to be it. Objective's in the hands of Aquila. Who's going to time his run a little bit. Needs the backup of his teammates. There are two players at second as Aquila starts running across. H2O is going to be able to pick up two, but the the, the tank gun is still alive. Flop's picked up the objective. He's going to just run away up, up Ammo Road. He does manage to make it underneath the balcony, but Mattis is closing in nearly from Flop. Nice attempt. He is going to be able to get that securing. Nice work from Mattis. Flop nearly getting that rifle off perfectly. So do you see there's a sneaky guy? Keep that quiet. Nice grenades and spam. Going to pick up some frags. I think Turbo are going to be respawning very soon. Maybe they're going to. Yeah, the objective is going to get picked up. It's a particular time. It actually might be able to make it somewhere. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Blaze just. He's going. They've all gone around the back of Bank. They didn't think he'd go for this. That was a mistake. As Blade's gone. He's long gone. Where is he? I think he's got a lot of freedom here. Oh, he can hear the shots and footsteps underneath the bridge. Will he try for this? It does look like he's going to, and he makes it. Really nice work from Blade. Single-handedly gets around, and that was just a bad decision from the Axis team. They know he had the objective. 
and they went round the back of the bank and they thought, oh, you know, he will not risk it. He will not risk it. And I think they've got it past the barrier as well. No barrier to build. And they were doing so well, Turbo, on that first stage. I thought they might have a chance to double for holding. But I don't see them holding off the truck now for seven minutes. They are getting in quite a few frags. I think if it moves too much further than this, it's impossible. Nice headshots from late. Blade taken out. The problem is they can just dive off this bridge straight on top of the oh, on top of the truck, which I'm surprised no one is doing. Mental's going to be on it. Strike comes out. The truck's going to just keep on rolling. If the truck can sort of sit here, it can be quite hard for the other team if the access team can set up a defence. But it's if it doesn't if it doesn't sit here and Aquila's going to make it so that it pushes underneath the balcony, and now they can just jump off the balcony. It's so hard now for the access team. Lots of frags going Oxid's way. We are going to see it get escorted out. Nice rifle comes out from, from Flop. Doesn't actually connect. There are a couple of players grouped towards second. I would have assumed a bit of damage was going to go their way. Hans is going to come out. Didn't connect either. Fortunately, none of this counts too much. The truck is just going to roll on. It's mental. The, uh, the truck driver. And that is going to be the first map going Team Ox's way. I think they kind of deserve it. Their first stage defense was really solid, and it was, it was really solid. Like Turbots was kind of on, off the back of a bit of fortune. I'll let you look at the stats. Upgrade the scores on the screen. I'm not sure what the second map will be. We have seen Turbot pick a couple of different maps. We have seen them pick Supply. We've seen them pick Radar. We've seen them pick a, a few maps in the past. So let's look. H2 I have 48 frags. Matthias with 40. 7.6k damage going H2O's way as well. Across the other team, though, Blade picking up the big frags and the big damage for his team. No, Christy had 8.4k damage. But it was Blade, I believe, with the frags. It was indeed 51 for him. So we are going to see Bremen. Maybe there's a map selection rule because we're seeing different maps. So it is going to kick off that second map. It is going to be Bremen. And we will see Turbo on the defense first. We'll stick with Cresty, who's going to push onto this far right hand side. Actually, he's going to go straight through the middle. He's going to join his team on the left hand side. A bit of pressure coming from Turbo. As they are trying to set up their defense in the lower ruins by the looks of things. But two frags coming for, for Team Oxidus. The push is going to push it going towards that lower ruins. He is going to be able to make it through. Nice revive from Aquila. He's going to be able to pick up that second frag as well. And maybe a plant going down. Very early plant. I don't know how he managed to sneak through. Really nice work from the Allied team. They are trying to put on pressure on towards that flag, but it's not going to happen. And are they going to get this defuse in? This is the question. The Panzer will come in surely from the respawn. We have got Olden Sound on it. Here comes the Panzer. There we go. Cleaned out. No problem at all. Flop picks up that frag. And there is a second engineer in position. Tony picks up one frag. He has to move in for this defuse. And it is Fireball to try and pick it up. It is going to be another frag coming in. Revive needs to come in from h -Troy. He does manage to pick that uh, the defuse in. Is it going to happen for Tony? He does get it with one second remaining. Unbelievable from Tony. Ah, oh, that just played out so nicely for the, for the Allied team. I don't know how... Tony managed to get that. He managed to sneak in, ghost in for that 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 plant, and then the oh my gosh, that was unbelievable. So they managed to add some more time to this first stage. Really nice work from the defense. And we are going to see Team Oxid have to start again. You got to pick yourself up. But it does look they're going to roll on towards this flag. Lots of players pushing in, and they're going to claim it. So they're going to get that flag. They are going to have a Kovi spawn in here surely. And. They do. They have a Kovi. They're trying to go for that suit. It's going to be too late, I assume it is. They're going to have to turn their attention to the manor house. Plant will go down from flop. It didn't delay them by too much. 45 seconds, but it was really nice to see. Really nice work. That's Krusty. He's going to push in with blades. Big aimers hand in hand. So are you going to be very scary to deal with? Double frag comes in, though, from Tony's grenades. As you do see, late push forward. It's going to be... A completely cleared out upper manor house. He did hear a footstep drop. And Late's going to have mental to deal with. He does take him down. Where's the supporting medics? Flop. The engineers all by themselves. Nice headshot from Late, but he's going to get dropped down. He is out for 15 seconds as well. And this stage is all about manpower. You need to have the guns. You need to have the crossfire. Otherwise, the allies can just run you over on the push. A few shots coming out from Tony. Trying to get those pre-shot headshots out. They do have quite a heavy manor house um, attack here, the allied team. 
maybe trying to rattle off shots towards the office. They are just trying to scope out some positions. The bullet gets a lot of damage in towards this guy over towards the objective, the key cards. And you see the second mental pokes his head out. Second mental goes out. He's just eliminated. So you've got to time those pushes a little bit better. And he generally would time it on the spawn time. Which would be now. Blade has got the panzer in his hands. Oh, he's going to be able to take down one. He's not. As Matthias is going to be able to dodge away from that. They have got a sniper as well. This is really strange from Team Oxid. They're going for that long range, like sort of damage dealing to deal with the annoyance of the long range shooting and the crossfire, but they're not really picking up any frags. I'm, I'm all for this, but you've got to hit those shots. As you are seeing Alden push across to the CP, which it seems kind of undefended right now. It is. It's only got one guy there. They really should just push towards that CP, the allied team. They're taking a long time. They're, they're taking a bit of a long time. They're setting up those easy easy frags at the moment. Rifle's going to come out from flop. Nice double frag from Tony. He has dropped that rifle for the MP40. And Team Oxid are just waiting back a bit too much. They're going to turn their attention to that key card. Maybe that was the objective all along for them. As they are going to push in. Nice revive comes out from Blade. They are going to get their hands on that key card. It was all about timing. As Cresty's just going to push out. He's going to go straight for it. And the guys at CP need to close this down. It is going to be late to try and get this done. And the objective has been dropped down. Nice work from Blade. He couldn't find it, but he does manage to pick it up in the end. Flop was trying to look for him, but... Really nice work from late. He did get the frag in, and that key card can be quite hard to see. Nice work from Matthias. Get the headshot, get the revive, move back in for the kill. That was brilliant. Turbot doing a really nice, some nice work. And I did say this was the key stage. Nice triple frag comes out from Tony. Double artillery frag in that mix. And Turbot's crossfire here looks pretty, pretty mean. I'd say a lot of it comes down to the lack of push from, from Team Oxid at the moment. They have made it in towards CP. Is that an engineer? It's not. It's only a Covey. So we'll see the destruction of CP come in. Now Flop needs to get up there. Is he going to rifle into He's going to get taken down. Nice revive comes out from Aquila who's managed to make it in towards CP. More frags going Turbot's way. And Snatics I think picks up three frags pushing across. He is going to get shot in the back. H2O with the last frag. And there are no more Team Oxid players in position. It's just Blade at the manor house. He'll take a bit of damage from his teammate from behind. He has made it quite far forwards. I think, I think it was uh, Tony. He knew he was there. Let's see if he's going to get built out by the Axis. Really nice from Turbo. Really, really nice from Turbo. Now going to lose a player at CP. I believe there's someone in the keycard room. There is. Cresty's just annoying them. Really nice work from Cresty. A bit of a distraction. Maybe opened up things at the keycard as well. There's only one more player alive, and I think it's at the back of office. They can get their hands on that objective. It is just Snatics. And Snatics is going to eat a grenade. He is indeed. Mental's just going to run straight for it. And the grenade nearly nearly hits him. Late's going to get a lot of damage off again, but the keycard's going to be in the... In the generator and that's going to open up the, the truck bay and you're going to see the axis have to back off they have no cp anyway Cresty's going to come move in for that build and they are going to get that forward spawn but really nice courtyard defense from from turbo they've held off half the map nearly and that's pretty decent if they can get a, a 10 minute hold that's awesome plot manages to get one or one or two frags he does actually get two the rest of his team's just going to push on in and they have got an ng already in position the truck defense is not going to be anything the Panzer does come out. Where's the revive on towards the engineer? Here it comes. I don't think he's on the truck though. He has managed to build it, and you cannot destroy the truck. So that's that objective done. So Troy tries to push forward to stop the, the plant going down. This is a lot of shots, that barrier. That barrier clipping being, uh, being his bane. But he does stop the plant, him and I think it was him and Matthias. On an Axis team. I'm going to turn their attention to just trying to defend this, this truck and the barrier. We haven't built up this uh, this little corridor. Not sure if that's good or bad. It's quite easy to plant the barrier, as you can see. No rifle ping shots off the off the wooden panel just yet. And the plant has gone down for the LI team. They have to move in for this diffuse. Will they move in? Will they be able to get this? I have got a few frags. Yeah, a couple of allies are all over it. Just gonna move forwards, slowly escorts. Ten seconds on that on that diner. 
He doesn't get the shot off. He does. He manages to get that shot off. But the, the fuse can still come in. Barrier's going to get built up by Tony. So no uh, no rebuild, I don't think. I don't think they're going to be able to get on it. Tony has. He hasn't got any charge. Where's Late? He was the second engineer. I think he got dropped and he was out for quite a long spawn. I'm not sure. What was his spawn time like? It was like 10 seconds. Will they be able to move for this? I don't think so. Strike on the barrier. Lots of frags going Turbot's way though. They should get this build. Late's going to get a lot of charge in. And they get another build on the barrier. So that's a guaranteed 30 more seconds. Just when it looks like Team Oxy to turn the tide, they are going to get pushed back again. Very, very annoying play from, from Turbo. I like it a lot. Oxy are going to be able to pick up all the frags. Another plant's going to go down on the barrier here. To have to do an objective twice Dynamite is very frustrating, I can tell you. Yeah, I'm going to hold position this time. And if you get if it gets diffused, that's one thing. But if they, they're just given so much time to do a full rebuild. It was like 30 seconds later as well. More frags go Turbot's way. They could get a defuse in here. And I think they are. Dynamite <sighs> more time. More and more time. Turbot looking really solid now. It's going to be an over 10 minute defense, which is actually pretty reasonable here. Firing for effect. Another plant going down. Yeah, he's actually going to be finished off. Nice work. Nice cover from Cresty. That was Matthias trying to move in for the kill. He got actually destroyed by the, the supporting medic. A lot of uh, turbo frags have come in though, cleared out quite a bit. I think Blade's one of the few alive. Have they got an engineering position to hit this defuse in? I don't think they do. Cresty's yeah, Cresty's just holding off. You see where he is. Here he comes. Nade does come out. He does pick up one with that grenade, and they should have this stage now. They need to move that truck. And it is indeed going to roll on. Nice work from Cresty. I don't think he did too much, but it's that truck rolling. Double frag out from H2O, and it's going to move past the barrier now. Artillery's going to probably take down a flop. He does move the truck a centimetre. Actually does take full spawn on that. I don't think that was worth it. Respawning allies are going to come in, and they're actually going to get taken down again. More frags for that with the artillery. Nice work from Oldenson. Double frag for him, but the truck is going to roll on. As the axe is going to move in towards office, Aquila is just on the truck by himself. He needs the support of his teammates. He is going to get shot underneath the truck by late, and this is just more time. You're just trying to add a little bit more time to the clock. Under five minutes remain for the allies to get a time on the clock. They, sh they, they still have a really, really great opportunity to do so, but the amount of time that uh, Turbo have managed to drain off the clock is really, really impressive. As we do see that maybe the engineers trying to move on the second barrier. Nice rifle comes out from Flock, does a lot of damage towards late as well. Late on 75% HP, but he has got medic for support. He is moving around the back here. He does actually get taken it down again. Nice triple frag in total for Flock G's. And the truck's going to move past the barrier as well. So we are going to see a time for, for Team Oxygen. It isn't great. It's like 11, 11 minutes or so. Very, very beatable. But they could it could have been so much better. If you consider all the stages that Turbot basically recovered from, that, that, that plant diffuse on the first stage, they added, what, another minute. Um, the CP, they managed to retake CP back once or twice. Added more time. They lost trucks so quickly, they built that barrier and defused that barrier like two or three times. You've got to love it. You've got to love it. So let's look at the frags. 28 frags apiece, Matthias and H2O. 4.5k damage going the way of H2O. Looking across to the other team though, 27 frags for flop. And big damage going the way of Cresty. But look how even it is. 2.5k for like nearly five players. Nice work. Quite one-sided though, 120 to 80 frags, nearly 20k damage to 15, so well played to Turbo, that was a nice defence, they have to they have to beat the time though, they've given themselves a really great opportunity, 11 minutes is nothing to be sniffed at as a defence on, on Bremen, it can be very hard to defend, especially I think with these two teams which, who, I haven't really seen these two teams play it too much. Turbo got a Panzer on the first ball. Destroy the entrances. What about these guys? Doesn't look like there's any Panzer. Early strikes going off from the Axis team, and it's straight into the attack of Turbo. You might not know this one on the left hand side. They did. Uh, they're fortunate. 
Lots of shooting coming this way. Just see quite a few revives as well. Nice work from Turbot making it this far. Nearly Matthias on towards the flag, but Mental's in position to slow that down. And he decides to kill out. Maybe a bit of pressure coming towards the plant, as it does look like a, a lot of toxic frags do come in. So we have H2O here. Does get eliminated by that grenade, but they have got a field up on top, who's actually bounced down for the flag. Snatix taken it by surprise on the spawn time as well. Really nice work from, from Snatix. And there's not much of a first stage here for, for Team Oxid. Turbot have managed to pick up the flag. They're going to get the plant down and going to go through the door as well. Really nice work. The allies need to get on top of this. They need to get through that door. Pronto. Pronto. Let's move. Arriba. And they are going to be able to get through that door. So we are going to see the push towards that CP very early, but it's going to run into the Axis defense sooner rather than later, as I think they've given away the game. Throwing nades around, showing themselves. It's going to roll out, run the gauntlet. They are going to get shut down. But this is just a distraction, if nothing else. As the uh, approach through the manor house has been opened up by... By Snatix. He is playing the Kovi. Yeah, he's got the Sten. We'll see a bit of Sten action here. He's actually going to forego the window position. A lot of players like to sit on the window. Going to go straight for that CP. Crest is going to be able to pick up two frags on the push. Maybe some revives coming in here. Nice rifle comes out from Flop. Lots of damage coming in. And Flop's, uh, sorry, from Tony. Lots of damage to come in though. Flop is, is the last one alive at CP. He is going to get taken down by Tony. Double frag from him and they've cleared it out. Lots of Lots of frags coming at CP for the Turbot guys. And this is looking really solid. So nine minutes and they're in the CP. They need to have that Kovi here though. Where's the Kovi? We'll spec, we'll spec Snatics again. Where is he? Will he make it? Will he make it across? No. Well, he makes it into lower CP. He isn't going to get gibbed. H2 needs to come back and revive him. Oh, I, see. I think he tapped out. I think he tapped out. That was, um, that was, that was unfortunate. Cresty and Aquila Dovo pick up a double frag. As the push coming across the top again, I'm going to stick with the allies, and it seems to be the momentum with, it, with them. As the push comes forward. H2 is still at CP as an ally player. And they have destroyed the CP. And the build is coming in. Where's H2 for the revives? Where's H2 for the revives? That was, that was poor. That was really poor from H2. He needed to be on top of that engineer, ready. He was watching the back stairs. But they would have had that build. That would have been that would have been it. Forward spawn on lockdown. But now it's completely Axis takeover, and they've been given another chance. We've seen Turbo do this one or two times in the past, where they just give the other team a full chance where they probably shouldn't have. I think I saw one once where they they boosted into CP. I think it was Turbo. It was either Turbo or Team Oxid. They boosted into CP CP on radar, and they team killed the engineer with a with a Kobe satchel. And I was just like, why? Why? You had the CP, just be patient. <laughs> Nade is at the top of these stairs, I heard it. It is going to be able to take down h I think he got in the revive in time. Holden Sand's going to come in up the stairs, but he is going to get taken down by the, the player in position there. Well, I think that was Cresty. And so far, Turbo kind of thrown away there. A great chance. Lots of damage by Snatix. No kills. Team kill revives coming in. Do hear the footsteps of his teammates, maybe going towards the key card. They are indeed, and they are going to be able to get their hands on it. Matis is going to make it away as well. But the guys at CP, look at that. Strikes are going to come out, but he's not going to get stopped, and he's not going to get cut off as well. Fireball's not. He is, he is. Fireball's going to get into position and get a double frag. Brilliant save from Fireball. I didn't think he would have had the angle in time. Really nice double frag from, from Fireball, and he is going to be able to secure the objective. Again, Tubbot, just get that, that last moment, that last thing just snatched away from them. They had every chance there. Edge Shot comes out from Tony. They have got three players into position, the Axis team, on the CP defense. As they have got Flop flanking him from behind on the stairs, and they're going to be able to clear out the, the attacking team. More players from the Ally team pushing in from the generator room. They are going to get cross fired. So there's only one player alive. It's just H2O, who has managed to make it in, decides to kill out more Turbot players to respawn back in. And I think it's all six. It is big push coming across the top. Rifle or Nade will be horrible here. Rifle does uh, sorry, Nade does come out from, from Fireball, who picks up two more frags from the manor house. He has been dropped out. Fireball, big saves earlier. Nice frag coming out from late. He has been picked up as well. And lots of turbo players are making it in towards low CP. But no Kovi. Everyone but the, the one guy they need. When Nade does come out from Presti, no Gib comes out from that. Brilliant revive work from Turbot. Matthias, uh, 
who we're in eyes of right now. In particular. Oh no. Where's the revive? There we go. Nice, really nice work from Matthias. We'll pick up Snatics again. But they're going to grow aggressive on really nice work from Blade. Whether he did that on purpose or not. He's going to be telling his team we don't need to do anything. We just... We can just halt. Kovi spawning back. Blade's going to push in. Another is here. Blade's going to be able to pick up one frag. Gets a bit of damage onto the second frag. But there's going to be a, a team kill coming in. As late as... Uh, drop down Matthias his, his medic and turbo falling apart they've managed to get into CP with four players twice pretty sure have big control of CP twice and unfortunately they drop drop five control no, no. just allow team Oxford to take it back less than five minutes remain they've still got one chance I'd say one big chance looks like H2O is going to turn his attention towards the, the key card he's actually going to flank office they won't know he's here. He's going to be able to take down one, get a lot of damage onto another player. Nice shooting from H2O. Did help that. They dropped him some health packs. That was very nice of them. Decides to run away. Probably a good idea. Just distract him for a little bit. Pans is going to come out from... Oh, how did that hit? How did that hit? I saw the, I saw the team name. I saw the team marker. I have no idea how it didn't hit. Just over four minutes remain. Team Oxid looking in control. Has looked a little bit shaky, but it looks like they've got it all back. Three players here at CP. Double grenade comes out from, from Fireball. He's playing very aggressive here. He's just pushing Manor House. This is quite an, a fairly old strap. A lot of people do this. Push Manor House and then respawn. But he's doing this on quite a long spawn. He's going to be asking for ammo as well. <laughs> Quality stuff. You poke your head up there, and because the crossfire is all in position, it's just going to get destroyed. Late's going to push towards that CP, and you're not going to see double fry come out from Kirsty, and they're running out of time now. Three minutes, 30 seconds. They have managed to pick up the objective. I think Matthias needed himself by accident, and he is going to kill himself out. Objective secured. Not really enough time. They're waiting. They know there's an airstrike or something. That was really nice from Flop. Very, very silent. I think they just spotted it on this left-hand side. Pushing in towards the manor house. I say this is the last chance, and they kind of got to just push past the CP. They can't really make the CP an objective anymore. They've got to make it so they just go straight for that key card. And they're splitting. Splitting towards CP, waiting in the manor house. Makes it very easy for a defence. Played in a key position here at office. And as you do see... One of the players moving in towards that, that objective was Matthias. Where did Matthias go? Decides to kill out. Okay. Just under three minutes remain. And I think it's GG. It's, uh, it takes a long time to get that tank all the way around the map. That tank, that truck. They've got to get there first. And get the key card and get it back. They had their opportunities, Turbot. They had a lot of opportunities. It wasn't... It wasn't a hugely one-sided game. Really, really unfortunate a couple of times. It was the, the time when they were in CP and H2O didn't get the revive in. And the time when Snatics got taken out on the push and they managed to have it four guys towards, to towards the CP. And Snatics just kept on getting held back by uh, Blade. And then there was the grab and the brilliant, brilliant save from Fireball. But they did have their chances. But it will be 4-0 to zero for Team Oxid. And I think on both maps it really it really could have gone either way. Maybe more so here on Bremen than Gold Rush. Turbot's first attacks weren't spectacular on Gold Rush. Being held for six minutes on that first stage. They're still knocking at the door, trying to get that objective. It looks like they've got control of CP finally. We're a bit too, li too little, too late. As uh, they're gonna maybe go for that build, I'm not sure. Looks like Axis have given it up. Lots of artilleries on the roads, but with less than a minute remaining. 
Let's try and pad the stats a little bit. As it will be Team Oxy moving on to the next round. Like I said, they'll face the winner of Ion versus Steroids. And then the winner of that game will face the loser of the upper bracket final, which is Elysium against Naughty. So we will only have four teams left in it next weekend. Should be two or three weeks away from completing the tournament. Just in time for Christmas. That's what I like to see. I, I really dislike it when it's Christmas in the middle of an event. It just kills the uh, kills the momentum of the tournament. It kills the the hype. He's having to battle off a couple of players. He's gonna get he's gonna get found. Thought the nade might be able to pick up a free kill. But that's going to be it. That is indeed going to be it. Let's look at the frags. 49 for H2O. But across the other team, as it's going to be Team Oxy to win. 44 frags for Flop. And 6.9k damage for Blade. That's what I like to see. Some big, big damage numbers between the two teams. They get. Look at how close the frags are, though. 198 to 197. 33k damage to 35k. So Turbo looked. A bit more solid on their own stages. I think that's fair to say. Team Oxid took stages back multiple times, which is not what you would expect is going to happen.